apply build so in this video we are going to see a very 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 cool concept or a very cool library in python called the media pipe okay so if you don't have this library installed i guess it shouldn't be there so it will be using computer vision so to install it you first need to do is you will first need to install that using pip so it will be pip3 install and then it will be media pipe so this library what it will do is this library has very some cool functions related to OpenCV and related to face recognition and uh, i have already installed this so for me it will be already there so for you it will take some time it will take some while and what this library has is it will just uh, i'll just show you uh, it has a very cool uh, it, it has a very cool visualization regarding the face and face detection it has iris it has uh, hand detection it has pose detection and everything so this can be used in a vast and a variety of ways basically so what are we going to achieve is we are going to achieve a face mesh here so if you see at the start there is a mesh which is created and then they, depending on that face uh, the facial points we are going to create a, a mesh on the face using OpenCV for sure so let's get started with the code so for to begin with what i do is i import cv2 that's the important library computer vision and then we import the the library which have which we had just installed so we'll install uh, we'll import the media pipe okay and we'll just uh we'll just make a short form of this as mp or something yeah mp and then uh i will move forward uh, with i'll say mp underscore let's say drawings mp underscore drawing is equals to i'll have mp dot solutions so it's getting from the drawing utils package it is getting the solutions from the drawing utils package so it is drawing we are a drawing underscore utils okay so it's getting that package and i don't want anything extra so i just have this behind and then just press and enter okay so now it's cool it's clean now i want some styles so it's like mp again so mp underscore drawing and then i'll have uh, mp drawing underscore styles okay so that will be equals to again the same yeah this thing mp solutions dot drawing styles and then i'll have mp dot face mesh so for creating the face mesh i'm creating the variable mp dot face and then mesh for that i'll have again solution but i want to check for the solutions for face mesh so what are the other solutions for face mesh so let's let's check okay i don't have anything i have only uh, mp dot solutions dot if you press your face so f it will give you only one method which is the face mesh okay so now i am taking the input from the webcam i'm using my webcam for doing the uh, for doing the live uh, streaming of my face and then i'll be creating a face mesh over it so what do i need is first thing i'm drawing something so i'm like drawing so drawing and then spec is equals to mp underscore drawing so if you can see here you have it already mp underscore drawing and then i want drawing spec so that's a variable if you see we had created the mp drawing earlier and you have drawing draw yeah so you have it here drawing spec now you need to create some uh, some attributes you have to give them some the drawing spec uh, method must be having some so that is the thickness so yeah it is already there thickness is equal so i'll keep it one and i'll also have the circle radius so the circle radius is equals to also one i'll just keep them one here and now i want to capture the video so cap is equals to cv2 dot i have to capture it using the video camera so it's like video capture the method there yeah video capture and then if you have like if you have a, uh, another webcam external webcam you're using then you can label it as one if you want the laptop's webcam then you can label this as zero okay so let's move further with the code now we have width 
and then we have mp underscore face mesh if you have it dot and then you have a face mesh so uh, mind you we are using the tab 9 again functionality so it will be very easy for us to type uh, you type less code and you code more actually basically so now we have max number of faces that's a variable we have created max number of faces is equals to i'm keeping it as one if you label this as two or three or something then what will happen is it will detect all the faces present in the frame and it will put a mesh on all those faces now i want some refined landmarks so on the face actually so i have refine underscore landmarks these are all variables so you will have it already refine underscore landmarks yeah you have it true and then you have minimum detection confidence first minimum detection underscore confidence yeah, you have it and is equals to 0 0.5 i'll keep it and maximum also i'll keep the same thing or else minimum tracking confidence is minimum underscore tracking confidence so i'll keep it again as 0 0.5 and then <clears throat> i close my bracket first thing here and then i have it this as test face underscore mesh so i've created i've allotted a variable to it and then okay so i'll just delete this now okay so now we are here now after this it will give me uh, to enter with us so that the width and then i have put a colon there so it will uh, provide me a natural indentation now i enter i start with a while loop now so while cap dot is open so the camera is on open open ed actually open what will happen is now first thing is if you have success so you, you can write the code for success as you see, see e ss success comma image so it will capture the image so i have to read that read and then close it but if not success then i'll have to write the method for that if not success then what will happen i'll have to print a statement here that saying that uh, something like i'm ignoring the empty camera frame the empty camera frame so there is no camera frame, no camera present actually so that's why it's ignoring it okay let's just purify this done and now uh, we want to break it so right continue so we just break it okay now what we do is we uh, try to improve the performance of uh, like optionally like mark the image and uh, as a non as not writable to pass by reference so what we do is image image dot flags and then image dot flags right table we are making it as false so it's right table okay right table right and then able so uh, mind you there's some uh, spelling mistake then uh, it won't run the program and then we have image is equals to again cv2 dot now we just converting that image to an image and then uh, we are using the cvt dot color method like cvt color method comma and then again cv2 dot color underscore uh, we are using the bgr2 rgb so bgr2 rgb rgb right so that's that's the image which we are getting now that's the image and now this will show you the results now if you have results here in this, this we are using the image now the image is created now but if you have multiple images so we have already already given here the faces one but if what what if someone gives your five or eight or ten image ten faces here number of faces so we'll have to write the code for that as well so what do we write here first thing is if the result has so it is a, it has result so uh, where, did, where did we have the result yeah after this like so first we'll have to declare the results first results is we have to process the image so results is equals to we have the face mesh dot so we have face mesh dot and then process so what it will process it will process the image the image variable which we have created now we create that if the results if the results dot and then you have multi face so if the results has multi face multi underscore face underscore landmarks okay so for that what we do is now we enter a for loop here for face 
underscore landmarks for the face underscore landmarks where inside the result we have it already result results dot and we have it already here now what we do is we have mp underscore drawing so we create the landmarks for different different face meshes depending on the styles so what i do is i have already placed that code somewhere so i'll just copy and paste that code here and i'll just walk you through the code so that code would be something like this so we have it so I just place the indentations properly here. So we have MP dot drawing draw the landmarks where on the image first. So that will go inside landmark list is face the landmarks and connection is face mesh uh, uh, tessellation. Then landmarks pec is none. So no specifications and then connection drawing M uh, MP drawing styles we, which we had already imported. See we have it here M uh, which we had already created the variable. So it's the same thing for all of them. We just indent them now. So we take this uh, inside the loop and uh, I'll just select all of them together once and two times. This will be selected once and then all of them two times. Okay, so now we are done with the, the loop inside whatever the loop was now we are coming outside the for loop actually we are coming outside the for loop now so let's say where is the for loop here the for, uh, so with the for loop here is the for loop so we are coming out of the for loop and now just just showing the the uh, window just showing the window so we have cv2 dot i am show so we are showing the image right so i am show where do we show the image here so we show the image in the in a window that window we can call it as okay guys learn apply and build okay guys so this is another cool library which i have i have come up with and research so guys please go and subscribe to my channel support uh, your support is much is much needed and uh, it helps me it keeps me motivated to bring something or the other new libraries and new uh, concepts or new material new content so yeah thank you guys please subscribe that subscribe button will be somewhere down there okay dot wait and then we have wait key and uh, let's say we have five and uh, and we have uh, zero cross uh, ff yeah that's it and uh, that will be equal to equal to 27 or something or oh, you can give it anything else. and then you break it the code will be break it and then just tap dot release so we come outside all the loops here with loop it was there and then we have cap dot release and then we close the brackets okay so that's our code that is the Code which we have run so we have connections here draw the landmarks we are we are drawing the face contours as well and then we are drawing the face irises as well so these are the uh, face uh, landmarks which we are drawing on the multiple faces as well as one face as well as a single face so now let's give it a try let's run it let's run the code once so to run it directly we just run the code and we'll have the Python window open and okay so what's the problem here with MP that's max number of face is equals to I got an unexpected okay max number of faces okay there we have an issue so I guess it will be max number of faces not a face it will be faces that would be the variable so the it's inside the arguments it won't be accepting it okay so now we have it already here let's open it okay so i can see that here so i guess uh, we must have uh, so that's the that's the face and that's bgr to gray whatever we had it and uh so here we can just end this here once and uh, just check it again that we have it bgr to uh, rgb or an no, rgb to bgr so yeah. 
okay so we had it we had it here first and then the in the results we got the result and uh, now after the results which we got like we had if you want like you can convert because you have converted a bgr to rgb you can convert this again to uh, a writable format like we can have image dot flags dot writable is equals to you can say label it as true and if that is true then you can have image is equals to cv2 dot again cvt color cvt color and then you have the image and now convert that image again cv2 dot color and then you specify you change it to rgb again rgb to bgr so that's the first one rgb to bgr now if you give it a run so if you see the blue tone which was there now it will take the perfect tone from the the colors will be accurate it will be uh, not that blur or not those the color distortions which were there that won't be present that won't be there the, the, the face and everything would be perfect the colors would be fine see so it's it's perfect now so that is the thing please guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel it will be somewhere down there below so i'll bring these type of contents latest contents for you and uh, please support please support my channel Thank you guys, happy learning.